you want your life to be whole, but what makes that whole? I got my undergraduate degree in design, and I, I thought I was going to become a designer, but it became very apparent to me that I wanted to teach and I wanted to be making art. And I make art because I have to. And I can tell in the days, the weeks, if it goes a couple weeks without doing it, I'm grumpy. You know, there's something missing. I finished graduate school and then my sister got sick. I didn't have time, I felt like, for this huge dialogue of, of spitting out and rejecting all the things from graduate school. I just found myself making work and, and, and just taking that time to reflect and, and quiet my, myself down. I found the work out very dark. And I pulled back and I got the colors going again a little bit brighter, consciously. But one day I was looking at a piece and I noticed this little arch in the corner. And I noticed that arch happened when she got sick and and I realized that had something to do with it. It, it it that arch represented something to me subconsciously and then when she passed away it became huge on the page and some people said oh it's a rainbow some people said it's an arch and for me it was kind of like a, a, a passageway and I'm on one side and she's on the other I realized that this is my whole spirit has taken this experience in. You know, my whole person has taken it in and is, is starting to um, define it or, or deal with it. People go, what's up with this arch? You know, they'll see it all work and go, what's up with this? And, and I'll explain it and they'll, they'll get it. And it's been fascinating watching that shape change. And I'm now at this point where I don't need that shape anymore. And the shape now I'm seeing is a circle or an oval. You know, everybody can look at the same painting and, and get something different. There's this Mark Rothko painting in the St. Louis Art Museum. And when I lived there, I would go on free Tuesday nights and go look at the painting. And, and every time I looked at that painting, it said something different. And it was a rectangle of yellow and two rectangles of orange. And today I'd go, wow, that's a landscape one day. And then the next week, wow, that's my job oppressing me, you know. And you just get this feeling of you can, you can let the art give you what you need it to, you know. And that's okay. To just know personally that that's there and that's helping me heal. And, and when I go to the studio, she's with me, you know. I, I really feel like she knows I'm feeding myself. and. And, and being who I want to be when I'm in the studio.